All right, what did we just play? New York Zoo. New York Zoo, the new game by Uwe. Mm -hmm. Uwe Rosenberg. Uh, do you remember what else Uwe Rosenberg has done? Oh. What is this game oh, like? Agricola and Patchwork. And Patchwork, yeah. And is this game a little bit like those two? Yes. Yeah, a little bit. What did you think about it? I liked it. Yeah, what did you like about it? I liked it that it had, at least in my opinion, in certain animals like the arctic foxes and the kangaroos and yeah. like all that they have really good detail especially like the fox yeah in my opinion yeah no i think that they're super cute and on the back of the box it even says like 117 or 27 or whatever it is cute animals wow yeah so they even say they're cute do you think they qualify as cute yeah yeah i like the paint on the penguin belly <laughs> So I think if it didn't have the white paint, you would still know it's a penguin. Yeah. But having it the white paint. really realistic. Yeah. But, I mean, it, it looks like a penguin. Um, what else did you like about it? I liked it because I like to go to zoos and stuff. But, unfortunately, because of COVID, we couldn't go to zoos. Oh. Cool. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> Just set it down. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, with COVID, this is maybe our best chance to go visit. Oh, look at that. On brand. Um, so this is our, probably our best chance to go visit a zoo, right? Yeah. Yeah. Which, was the game fun? Yes. Well, yeah, what'd you like about it? I liked about it because of the zoo, the art, and I really like, because not a lot of, like, animals that are on this yeah. are in Minnesota. Oh. So it's, so on the box, I can actually see what they are. Yeah. Yeah. That, I didn't think about that. Yeah, this I might... have cats, but they're just normal cats. Yeah, well, those, those are supposed to be like meerkats, which yeah. are not really native to Minnesota. But yeah, we don't have really flamingos or penguins unless we went to a zoo. So yeah. Was it a hard game to learn? If you know Patrick and Agricola, no. If you only played one of those... A little. If you haven't played any of those, yes. Yeah. So the breeding, the animal breeding, the animals having babies is a lot like how they do it in Agricola. Yeah. And fitting the pieces together is a lot like patchwork or, oh, we played um, Spring Meadow and what was the, the, the garden one and Indian Summer. Yeah. So we played other games that he's done where they've got the little pieces that fit together like this. But yeah, patchwork's probably the one that we... I'm just so just, <laughs> just let just lay it down. It's okay. Um but Patchwork is probably the one that we that we've played the most. Yeah. Mm. Um did all the stuff make sense? I mean, what did all the rules kind of like fit fit together in your head and make sense to you? The one thing that I really did not under I'm so sorry. That's all right. I knew this part because you explained that. Yeah. But all of this did not make any sense. Yeah, the pictures are a little weird. Mm -hmm. Um and I think, like, now that you know the rules, you might be able to look at it and kind of figure out what they're supposed to be. And I can understand if you don't put it as words, mm -hmm. then more people can use it. Because if you put it in English, people who don't speak English, it won't make any sense. So, yeah, the the, the symbols at the top of the board are a little, yeah. are a little weird. Uh, anything that you didn't like about it? No. No? I mean... Like, the symbols kind of get me a little triggered, and that's pretty much sure. it. Sure, jeez. Um, okay. Um, so, from one to ten, what'd you think? Nine and a half. Nine and a half. That good, huh? Mm -hmm. Would you rather play this or Patchwork? This. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is... This is pretty fun. I'm 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 really enjoying this. And I, and I agree if you've played some of his other games and it probably makes it a little bit easier. One thing that I really kind of didn't like about it and you you weren't here for this cuz you were in the other room watching your iPad when I was when I was setting it up, but the pieces to you have to you have to organize them out yeah. and there's four colors of green. There's four shades of green. And so I took the the light ones out and the dark one's out, but the middle two shades of green are like kind of a little bit hard to tell apart a little bit, not impossibly so. So I kind of wish that like they all the ones of the same color all would have the same thing. Like 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 all of the second shade of green have a lake, and all of the third one have like a certain kind of tree or something. If you're red green colorblind, I can't imagine how you're gonna sort out these pieces. Yeah. Now, they all have the same size, so the smallest ones are fours, and then fives, sixes, and then sevens, but I can't imagine. There's quite a 
few tiles. So I couldn't imagine anybody's going to want to sit there and count all the spaces on these little tiles. So the setup is a little bit weird because yeah. of that. But, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world. But also something else is, so for example, I'll take my two penguins. Yeah. If you do this, right, they're the same color green. Yeah. If I would put one right here and yeah. then make a mistake, which I did, which yeah. is probably awful, it's um, not awful, I put one there. Yeah. Right. And you meant to put them in the same area? Yeah. But yeah. also, they don't have kind of like a fence around it. They sure. have like a little darker dirt around it. Yeah. But you should have like a fence because also it's not really, really realistic because you won't put penguins and just let them like sit in not in a crate because there's not even any things. So. Sure. Yeah. You think the animal's just going to run wild? Yeah. I don't know if any of these animals would eat any of these other animals. I don't know if an Arctic fox would eat a penguin or not. I feel like uh, well, there, there's maybe a risk of that. But there. anyway. All right. Cool. Well, would you recommend this for kiddos? Yes. Would you recommend this for families? Yes. Uh, anything else you want to add? No. I think this is a really good game. I, I've played it a, a few times before we played, and I think we had a lot of fun, and it was uh, it's really good. I think this one's going to get a lot of play here uh, for a while. Mm -hmm. Anything else you want to add? No. Okay. Bye. Bye, Peanut. Bye.